now let's take a look at Junkrat, the newest to be released hero to the Nexus. Today is October 11th and he's going to be coming out on October 17th in North America and October 18th in Europe. Tuesday, Wednesday, the usual. Um, so let's take a look at him. But first of all, I want to show one more thing. You can ping whether you have talent advantage or disadvantage by holding down Alt key and left clicking on the level. Junkrat notes both teams are at the same talent tier. It can also say Junkrat warns enemy team has a storm talent tier advantage. Or it will say heroic talent tier advantage, which means they have to level 10, so you don't. Or maybe it will signify that you have an advantage. Oh, do go on. Okay. Junkrat, he has base stats 1324 health points, which is pretty low. He's a ranged assassin, he's from Overwatch, he can use all his abilities while moving, but he can't attack move while moving. He can't auto attack while moving. His auto attacks splash in a circular area, as you can see. In a small circular area. Uh, they do 114 damage. He attacks once per second. Standard range, standard mobility. Okay, moving to his abilities. He's got a frag launcher that will collide with territory, slowly go forward, and explode upon its final destination. It's a trajectory wall bouncing ability. They are four charges with a 12 second cooldown. They are signified by the yellow bar of ammunition in your bar and they will all recharge at the same time this is the skill shot indicator it will snap to the max range when you aim outside of your max range as you can see there's a few special interactions too many to mention at this moment but sometimes it will matter whether you fire it against the gate initially or whether you move it over for example if you look at uh, me throwing grenades in front of the gate, they will coll collide with it. But if you aim over it, they will go over. So there's uh, there's a lot of... If it collides directly with terrain and it doesn't see a logical bounce, like it collides too much head on, collides too much head on, then it will instantly explode because there's nowhere else to go. I encourage you to try it out. W is a, is a mine on a 16 second cooldown. You can have one at the same time. It lasts until detonated. It does not have a timer. If you stand pretty much near the center, you will go to the moon. I don't think there's a true center, by the way. If you're at the edge, you'll have maximum displacement. Note that the mine will deal damage to enemies. And it will knock back all enemies. But it can also knock back yourself. Not your allies though. But it doesn't do damage to yourself. So it's both your mobility tool. And your escape. Your disengage. And a setup on enemies. For example. Woohoo! Asma all the way to your gate. Of course if you wanted to follow him or body block him. Make sure you're not accidentally standing on it. E is a trap. 12 second cooldown. What is he throwing Q at? <laughs> Anyway, Steel Trap, when an enemy walks over it, it deals damage and roots them for 2 seconds. Maximum 1. <laughs> He's killing Chaos! Asmodan! Alright. Increase Frag launches travel distance by 50%. Instant value. But it doesn't increase the speed. Put some English on it. Cool. Pretty straightforward. Choose a talent. Grenade. Frag launcher grenades last longer before automatically detonating. It does give vision. So in that sense, I guess it is pretty cool. It does give vision. So you should keep that in mind. But overall for combat, not really a big bonus per se. I guess people can still walk over it and get hurt. 
I guess there is some value in it. Bouncy Bouncy, upon colliding with terrain for the first time, frag launcher grenades deal 20% more damage. On the 27. Wait, oh, okay. When you instantly throw your grenade on the wall, it will explode. But when you first hit the ground, it will bounce. Sometimes very strangely. In ways you wouldn't expect. I mean, this is just a really weird terrain. I just can't make it hit the minion wave. <laughs> Hundred fifty two crit. I mean, will I pick it? I don't know. Let's move on to the next talents. Keep in mind that I'm now level twenty, so it'll look a little bit different. I'm gonna go with the distance here. Hitting a hero with a frag launcher increases its damage by 0.75 up to 150. That's 200 grenade hits. Quite a steep quest, but it's not a reward quest. It's just... It's just... Uh, damage. Extra damage. That's 150 damage. That sounds pretty cool at level 1, where it does like 120 damage. But once you're at level 20, it does 257. Oh! Okay, still a very respectable quest bonus. And of course, keep in mind that the bouncy bouncy terrain also includes the ground. So you don't have to do it past the wall like I was just doing just now. So, damage increase. Pretty straightforward. Hit enemy heroes 12 times with concussion mine. And then you get more damage 30 percent more on 395 which is a pretty res pretty respectable amount at level 20 and also 30 percent farther knockback and that's the one i'm most interested in Stop me if you've heard this one before. uh you know what i'm just gonna try it on the try mode because osmo is freaking trolling it no i want to try it on osmo okay cool Yeah, that's pretty far, I guess. This First blood. Is it only on enemies? Uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh, all Bouncy right. Bouncy doesn't currently include the ground. I see. Can you try Alt W and then D? Yeah. It's pretty good escape. Let's just keep that in mind. Whatever talent you take, right? Choose a talent. This bomb's for you. But it's only on enemies. Is this the new garage? Can he go over the gate? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was rather entertaining. Wow. It is really cool. It's interesting, there's no knockback whatsoever if they were to be pushed into terrain. Alright, of course you will never have that kind of CDR, but... Um, neither the trap nor the mine seem to have HP. They cannot be killed, but they are visible. You would think traps are invisible, but they are. Okay, gotta trap them all. Ah, nice uh, Mario uh, reference. Reduce steel traps cooldown by 3 seconds, original 12. And increase the maximum number of active traps to 3. Wow. That's uh, kind of like Chromie. Gotta catch them all, the Mario, right? Oh, 
catch all the pizzas. <laughs> Him and Yoshi, always catching them all. Level 7, tricky shuffles. While you have no charges left, 15% bonus movement speed. Big as? Big as what? Uh, increase steel traps radius and damage by 50%. Hey, it doesn't show the radius when you throw it. Oh, because you need to walk on it. Big as... Oh! So if you're very good, you can do this, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, don't kill me, don't kill me. Rise again and take your revenge. So if you're very good, right? Uh, Sticky Wiki still trap no longer roots enemies, but instead slows them by 90% for three seconds. So you get one second more, but it's not a root. I guess it's pretty interesting because sometimes you don't want to root someone because they can get... Anna or someone or Zuljin, whatever. No, Anna or Uther to get value from it. So it's not a root, it's a slow. And it's practically a root. But it seems like a trap talent. Uh, Rip Tire is an 80 second cooldown remote operable 500 HP thing that if you press R, you redetonate it for massive damage. Either 1026, 1368. Or 17.10, depending on how close they are to the center. Fire in the While you're doing this, you have no bonus armor, you can't move, and you're self-rooted. The trap seems to have no collision. It seems to have a little bit poor turning rate. It seems it also does a knockback, by the way. It lasts 15 Fire seconds. It can go through enemy gates. It seems like the movement speed is a lot better than the turn rate. Feels a bit janky. You cannot go through gates, by the way. Nor through trees. It's quite powerful. It has 1140 health now. You can jump with Q. Oh. Ah. Ah, every three seconds. Fire in the hole. While queuing, you cannot change direction, by the way. Uh, the other alt is Rocket Ride. Let's go for a ride! When you come back, you have 250% movement speed. You give a quarter takedown to the opponent. So a little bit of XP. You're very fast until you take damage, which is great for scouting. Finding Abathur, getting back on the map, getting back in the action after you basically exploded yourself for damage. Let's go for a ride! Of course, this is the zero CDR effect. So that's a, that's a pretty cool alt, just to read it. It takes one point quarter second to channel it. Then after three and a half seconds, you land for massive damage. And you also activate your death trait. Then you reappear at the altar. You get a lot of bonus move speed. Pretty darn cool. 100 second cooldown. Oh, do and at level 20 you can upgrade it to have a 30 second cooldown. Of course people can dodge it. They can ice block it etc. And you do give it a little bit of XP. Um, okay so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty nasty. Um, moving on 
until the next level. Ripper Air. Junkrat is knocked back farther by his own mines. And you also get a big CDR if you only use it on yourself. Four second CDR. Choose a talent. That's pretty darn crazy. I think as a ranged assassin, this is uh, a huge, huge boon. Go inside. And go out again after you kill Abba. Totally safe. He doesn't even have 3k HP at level 21. So that's uh, definitely a big deal. But that's, a, that's insane. Concussive mines slow... Enemies launched by your W are slowed 60% 2 seconds. Pretty strong actually. Really good setup to kill. Chattering teeth. That's going to be interesting to see. Let's take a look. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. What do we have here? Now, this is the radius within which an enemy needs to be in order for them to feel like they want to get near. And I'll show you. <laughs> Makes it far more likely to hit. Makes it more effective in team fights. Remember, it has no HP and it has a uh, infinite duration, basically. So it is very good, I think. As long as you don't cast any new ones, it will always be there. It says slowly chase nearby enemy heroes. But I think it would be better if they said will chase enemy heroes with 50% of a hero's movement speed. Like of a standard hero's movement speed, you know? They should express these things empirically and not uh, not slowly. But anyway, you see it. Moving on to the next. Frag launcher fires all of its charges in a continuous burst. Six second CDR, so that's six instead of 12. But you get one less charge. Let's try it out. Uh, it's a continuous burst, but you can change direction, I think. Um, it kind of depends, it seems. Okay, you shoot them all at the original location that you dropped it at. If that means you walk over that location, then it will shoot the next in a different direction. Wait, did I shoot only two just now? I need to try out a bit faster. Yeah. Only if you walk over the area that you targeted, will it shoot certain shots in a different direction. But generally, it will pretty much all go in the same place. Except if you rapidly change trajectory or you even go, indeed, all the way to the other side. Uh, I don't think that's too strong, actually. You do get more grenades in total. Every 12 seconds you get 6, instead of every 12 seconds you get 4. But I don't know. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Endless Choose nades. A talent. Hitting an enemy hero with a grenade a reduces its cooldown. If you hit all 4, it's a 6 second CDR in total. Then you have 8 grenades per... 12 seconds, which is better than burst fire. But burst fire is more rapidly in a row because you have a longer cooldown, you see, than with burst fire. And you must hit them all in order to outstrip it. But I think that's overall just really good regular value every now and then, you know. I like it. I like it. Now now take a look Choose at a speed talent. volley. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Oh, sorry. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Speed Volley is a, a 30 second cooldown activatable, where if you cast it, you get spread. That seems pretty good. 
that is within the period of four seconds you have 12 grenades in four seconds very bursty very good in team fights yeah osmodon keeps throwing globes at chaos <laughs> isn't that funny so this one seems pretty good every 30 seconds is extra bursty so you really want to decide sustain kind of burst i guess or a lot of spread burst in a fight can you hit one enemy with all three it's hard but it's possible you must be very close though just keep that in mind keep in mind also that you can combine different grenade talents choose a talent choose a talent for example choose a talent no you can't never mind i lied uh, okay and then at level 20 again that 30 second cooldown on your rocket ride cannonball all right let's let's try out by the way the duration of extra wound timers oh that's pretty cool so there's like grenades everywhere yeah i, I like that i like that so that's pretty cool combination extra wound timers and uh spread volley all right Lovely level 20 now, the short cooldown cannonball is increased auto attack splash as well as grenade splash so again to remind you this is the auto attack splash range originally it's pretty darn good it if i hit this general it hits almost all the archers middle you hit all the archers bottom you only hit the bottom and the middle archer and uh at the bruiser camp wait i need full life oh i don't get full life from this at the bruiser camp i hit three of them you see and when i uh when i grenade hit two of them pretty much maybe you can hit three if you shoot it here yeah you can hit three but now we take cannonball also still hit only three so that's just because they're too spaced out easier to hit all three with the grenade and maybe you can hit all four yeah you can hit all four if you shoot from the inside if you do it properly whereas remember if i hit this archer i will hit this and this oh sorry okay messed up i need to wait till the next mini wave okay ah wow okay pretty big splash pretty big splash Okay, so anyway, 50% bonus radius. Uh, moving on to the next. Choose a talent. Boom, Choose a talent. pow. Hitting an enemy hero with Concussion Mine, which is your knockback, reduces its cooldown by 10 seconds. This bomb's for you. And it's an enemy hero only. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. That's by 10 seconds. And you also had... Oh yeah, but Ripper Error doesn't synergize with it because it's only for yourself. So we've pretty much seen it all. And now just for his uh, first alt, extra oomph. Increase Rip Tire's knockback distance by 50%. And its cooldown is reduced by 20 for each enemy hero hit. That, cool, that knockback wasn't a lot, was it? it? Depends how close they are to the center, that's why. <laughs> hmm. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. How much was the knockback again? The cooldown is nice because it's very spammable. Enemy oh, slain. sorry, he's, he's dead. Lovely day, isn't it? Fire in the oh, Just no. checking the knockback without the... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah, 
yeah, can confirm is 50% more. That's pretty cool. A little bit of extra oomph on your uh, alt. So that's Junkrat in a nutshell in a try mode. Hope you enjoyed it. So be it. We have a lot of coins, man. Oh, messed up the combo. Oh, nice speed barrier. 